So I'm going to demonstrate the the um, steps you would take to, to make a tour that can be used for testing to make sure that the web client is done functionally, everything that needs to get done to do the same thing in the web client that is in desktop client. So I'll first start by um, going to guided tours, create new tour. Um, it should automatically bring up a dialog box to give it a name. Uh, this is the only thing you need. There is tour description, author name, email, so forth that you can do, but initially you just need a name that comes up here. Um, the next thing to do is to um, add a new slide. Right now the behavior of the web client is it does put a default slide there. I'm not, I kind of prefer it rather not having anything, but um, I think they should be consistent. Um, the, when you click on new slide, it'll create the new position as the starting position, the, the position of your viewport. If I keep zooming in, um, I can get down. This is going targeting the earth. I can um, get to this position. Um, I say in camera position. Um, I can add a new slide, which will start the, this is the first camera position. Um, and now I can uh, keep on going. Um, and say set in camera position. I can start this, add a new slide, and then maybe just pan across here. Um, not changing the zoom level, just just moving the port viewport, and say in in camera position. So now I have three slides. Um, I'm going to label them. I call this intro, and then I call this Earth. And I'm going to call this one Pan. Um, I'm also going to change the time, the uh, duration for each one. I'll use, this, I'll use the um, arrows for two of them, and then for one, I'll actually make sure that the text entry works. So if I say 0, 05, that should work. If I do run the tour through, it should take five seconds to get through the first slide. Um, five seconds into this zoom to the ground and then five seconds um, moving across the ground. Okay, so um, what I can do is I want, I want to give, um, I've added the names under them, I've changed the slide, na slide, slide title. Um, another thing I can do is under guided tours is to toggle the show slide numbers on and off, making sure that on gives it the zero, one, two slide slide number at the top. Um, now I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to take, um, make a master slide. So right click on this slide and make a master slide. Um, anything on the master slide, text, anything over here, text, shape, picture, or music will, will persist until it hits another master slide or the tour ends. So I'm going to add um, a text object called uh, uh, title text. Um, and then on, for that slide, on this slide, I'm going to add some shapes. I'm going to add a, a star. Um, and then on slide, th slide three, I'm going to add a, I'm going to add a picture. Um, let me see about p pictures. Okay, um, so I have a, a picture on slide three, a star on slide two, and title on slide one, which will persist through everything. If I push play, the title text is overlaid, and it should stay there for slide two when the star comes on. For the next slide, when the star goes off, the picture comes on and the text stays. So that all seems like it's working. Um, now I'm going to try some narration. So I'm, on slide one, I'm going to add um, a music. Uh, I have an MP3 file here. And then slide two, I'm going to add um, a voiceover narration, which should only start on slide two. So if I push play, what should happen is music will start now.
it'll persist. Now narration happens, but it stopped. It's only for that slide, and the music from slide one continues. So that shows the way music should work. Um, I want to play with reordering slides. So if I grab, if I grab the Earth one and move it to the end, it moves to the end. If I grab the uh, pan and move it to the front. Um, So I should be able to reorder them. I can also right click and delete slide, but then control Z to undo. Um, I should be able to take this master slide, move it over here. Again, control Z for undo. Um, yeah, so reordering slide seems to work. Um, but then I can, again, multi-level undo seems to work as, as, um, as advertised. So this kind of hits all the major pieces that have to be working um, in the web client in terms of making a draft tour, starting a begin in composition. The other thing is, is also transitions. Um, right now, the, all the transitions are the fly to, the arrow, but you can also um, need, need to make sure that a crossfade through black, for instance, with um, with a um, a time for every piece of the opening of A, B, and and the and the black. So if I do this, we should also practice preview tour from here. Um, now it's going to fade through black and fade up. That worked, um, but they're they're basically cut. Um, Cross fade, fade through black, fade in, fade out, and you should test all of these to make sure they work. But I think that's basically it.